Hello guys, I'm going to do this video. This video is just for information because I have seen till now many technicians don't know how to remove a capacitor, for example. So there's many ways to do it. You have to decide which one is better for you. Okay. Um, everything have has a thing technique. Okay. Yeah. Uh, one of the ways that you can remove a capacitor, okay, is let's say you have any, you can use a knife, you know, precision knife, you can use a very strong tweezer. For example, here, let's let's do this one here, okay? Let's say you have a problem with this capacitor here. What you do, you just, let me see if you can hear, you knock off like this, okay? This is one way to remove a back capacitor. In case that one is the one that is short. Another way, what happens if you use this way? You can damage a pad, okay? Sometimes you can damage one of the pads. Another way to do it is you can put, uh, let's say we're gonna do this one here. You can put flux. Okay, small amount of flux. You can do it very quick. It's not gonna take longer uh, because this is a small component. I use my temperature as a regular temperature. No, I know I'm not going to damage anything. You can use hot air, like I'm doing right now. This is another way, but if you are using hot air, you have to be very careful because if you don't have experience, you can make more damage around the areas, okay? You're going to wait, nothing is going to happen. This capacitor is going to melt. You see, it's very easy before any IC or any other chip because it's a small component. Okay, another way to do it is let's say we can apply, you can apply also flux. Okay, you can apply flux and then. You can put 6337 solder solder to the both sizes, or you can use you can borrow ship quick, which is very very good. It's low temperature. You're gonna dissolve the solder to a low temperature. So another way to do it is you can let's say example here, you put in one side and you put more in the other side. Bigger the component, more that you are going to need. Okay, that's it. You see, because I put in both sides. This is this is going to be ground. This is going to be the uh, this the line. Okay, this is ground. This is the line. That's why this is easier to uh, remove. As you see, you know, I use my solder iron. I just touch both pads, pull a small amount in each pad, and then just pull it. So this way, I'm not risking any pad. Let's see, there's another way. If you have uh, tweezers, you can use hot tweezers, okay? That's going to depend on the tweezers you have, is going to how fast it's going to be. Let's say we are going to remove this one. If you want to do it with a hot tweezer, one way that I do it that is faster for me is, say in this case, you put, you can put 6337 in both, you see, I'm putting 6337 here, okay? And then you're just going to touch both sizes, okay? The bigger the component, more heat you're gonna need. That's it. So you can see we have removed that one with no issues. Another way that I also use sometimes is, let's say in this case, what I do if I don't wanna is I, I want to do like faster, sometimes it takes longer. I just get my heat gun, hot air, okay, and the tweezers. The 
hot tweezers, you know, soda iron tweezers, and just touch this and put my hot air, and it's going to be fast, very fast. You see that? So this is just to let you know, to, ex to show you many different ways how can you remove a capacitor um, without damaging the board. Remember, if you knock off the capacitor with a tweezer, you may damage the pad, but there's many different ways. You have to select which one you think is better for you. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and we see you next time.